have I got attention deficit disorder? <laughs> I'm taking the University of Maryland six short questions to determine if I have attention deficit disorder. I'm about to diagnose myself with a mental health condition because of this fucking phone, that's Tadger and his wee shitey dog. <laughs> Even my dog is looking at me as if, get over it, Kev, hurry up and throw that tennis ball. Give me a minute, Annie. I'm no well, I'm mentally ill. Please be patient. I need your support just now, dog. Taking the test, the University of Maryland, six short questions to determine if I have attention deficit disorder. Do you sometimes struggle with the finer parts of a project once the challenging parts have been finalized? All of the time, most of the time, some 10 celebrities you didn't know were gay. Don't get near it, Kevin. Don't click on it. Don't fucking click on it. Don't get near it. 14 reasons you are always tired. Oh, I'm always tired. I think I might have that chronic fatigue syndrome. <laughs> Fucking finish the ADD test. How the fuck can I finish the ADD test if I've got ADD? <laughs> I went back. I read about Rivera. I got tooled up on this guy. Educated myself. Diego Rivera was born in 1886. Rivera began painting at the age of three years old, a year after the death of his twin brother. Rivera would paint on his bedroom walls. His parents, rather than chastise him, installed chalkboards and canvas on his bedroom walls to encourage his gift. At the age of just 10 years old, Rivera was accepted into the San Carlos Academy of Fine Art in Mexico City, where he studied until 1907, before moving to Europe, where he became friends with Pablo Picasso. Get fucking shit. Oh, it's <laughs> Off to the gym. I've lost a bit of weight. Don't offend anybody. Notice that there. Oh, shit. Lost a bit. People worry about you in this city when you lose weight. I had a guy shout, Fuck's sake, Kev, have you got AIDS? <laughs> Which is just the local way of saying, Looking sharp, Kev, you've been working out. <laughs> I've got a jaw. What that? Jaw, remember the fucking jaw, my life. I've always been fat. I was fat my whole life, right through school. This has been a long time coming. I was, I was 18 stone when I was 18. I was fat, right, school. That was tough. Sitting in a plastic chair at school at the end of every class, knowing there's going to be a sea of sweat that's been separating the two hemispheres of your arse. <laughs> Sitting beside the lassie that you fancy, having to do that slide, try to wipe it as you're getting up. Been fat at school. I was the first in my class to get tits. It's hard. <laughs> Going to the swimming on a school trip. Now I'll just keep my t-shirt on. The water's dead cold. I'm alright. I'll swim my t-shirt on. <laughs> I went to a guy. 18. That's when I first addressed the problem. 18 stone. I went to the gym. The real gym. You know the big proper gym guys. The real fucking big tanks. This new breed of man that you get. You know the big mammals. The big protein bastards. Big. With a big beard covered in tattoos. They're going, mate, did I create you in a PlayStation game? <laughs> they're big guys. They work in the car phone warehouse, but they're training for the apocalypse. These big. <laughs> Convinced their best mate shagging their missus, and they're training for the day they can finally prove it. <laughs> I went in, and that's what puts fat people off the gym. These guys. Take it too far. He's big. Only God can judge me. I'm standing here judging you, you big fucking bell end. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the guy. I said, Look, mate, I'm trying to lose a bit of weight. The guy goes, It's all about nutrition. All about nutrition. You can do whatever you want in here, but it's all about nutrition. You can't out train a bad diet. <laughs> and he asked me, He asked me what I had for breakfast. He goes, What did you have for your breakfast this morning? Instantly, I'm thinking I better say something that I never had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> Make a good impression with this big fucking mammal. I said, oh, I had fruit, mate. A bowl of fruit. And the guy's going, fruit in the morning. That's oh, got to go. Fruit in the morning. Very high in sugar. You need to lose that. I'm thinking, fruit, mate. Fruit. That's bad for you now. Fucking fruit. <laughs> fruit. 
fruit. I never had a bowl of fruit, but as far as you're aware, I did have a bowl of fruit, so I should be commended. I had a fucking Terry's chocolate orange, mate. <laughs> You've no idea how low I would stoop for breakfast, cold Pashwari and Anne with Nutella on it. I've been there, mate. <laughs> and you're on my case about fucking fruit. I used to have four raspberry ice poles and a warm bar for breakfast, half past day every morning for six years. <laughs> then a rolling sausage at half past ten, a pizza crunch and chips at twelve o'clock, a can of coke, then fucking Astra belts on the way home, fucking fizzy cola bottles, bikers, Johnny's onion rings, everything. Then I would... <laughs> Going home for crispy pancakes, oven chips, potato waffles, croquettes, yellow, mate. That was the only colour I would eat, yellow. <laughs> and you're on my case about fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that because the guy would punch fuck at me, but I was thinking that. <laughs> I said, all right, I'll cut out the fruit. The guy gave me a diary to fill in, a food diary. That's a step too far, Johnny. Submitting handwritten lies to somebody. <laughs> Tell me all these foods to cut out carbohydrates, should be eating a shit, eat this stuff, eat this sort of stuff. I'm filling in my food diary on the internet, reading about superfoods, trying to impress the big man. Monday morning, I had avocado, avocado. <laughs> Here, what the fuck's avocado? In case this guy asks me. <laughs> you have it on toast? Or he'll go off his head if I say toast. I just say I had avocado. How many? How many? Uh, five. Five avocado. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'll put ten. Ten avocado. <laughs> sure, guy, I'm serious about it. Ten avocado, Monday morning, breakfast. Then I had almonds and blueberries, and then I had beetroot. Beetroot, that's a superfood, isn't it? A big jar of beetroot, mate, get a spoon, rattled a lot. Mm. <laughs> then I had quinoa, quinoa. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Quinoa. What the fuck is quinoa? Quinoa? What the fuck is that? Click on images. That's a powder. Snorted a couple of lines of quinoa. <laughs> and then I had oily fish, and I really felt it reducing my risk of Alzheimer's, mate. And the guy's gone out. <laughs> this is great, Kev. Is this the truth? And I'm saying, no, mate, the truth would break your fucking heart. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> I lasted two meals without carbohydrates and I thought I was going fucking insane. <laughs> I never felt so angry. I had to get off the couch and just lie on the floor, staring at the ceiling, trying to take myself to a happier place. <laughs> Fantasizing about carbohydrates. I never knew what a carbohydrate was until you told me to cut them out and then you grassed them all up. <laughs> I'm lying there. Oh, I would love a spaghetti toasty right now. Mmm, how good would that be? Or a baked potato with rice in the middle. <laughs> and I could put that on a sandwich, eh? When's the last time I had a piece and baked totty and rice, eh? Mmm. <laughs> With a wee spaghetti toasty chaser. Oh, yes. <laughs> then I crumbled, mate. I went rampaging through my own kitchen in the freezer. There was a tub of Ben and Jerry's that had been there for months. Now, because it had been there for so long, the little wooden spoon that you get inside a tub of Ben and Jerry's bent and snapped on impact with the ice cream. <laughs> so I had to put the tub of Ben and Jerry's in the microwave. Now, <laughs> I left it in the microwave a bit longer than I should have done, and the ice cream melted. So rather than just have a few wooden spoonfuls, as I had initially intended, I drank the fucking lot, mate. <laughs> I never knew how to fit that in to Monday evenings column. 